previously on Crown. I am Princess Eleanor of Christendale. Oh, but you can call me Ellie. I'm Miles, seller of houses. The Book of Knowledge will help you and bring you great blessings. Goodbye, King Miles. I am not. <laughs> uh. <sighs> What about your father and sister? They're in the evil queen's lair. Ooh, Miles, what's going on? Those are slumber berries. Just one berry puts you to sleep for 35 whole days. Is this your evil plan? Retrieve book of knowledge. <laughs> Access portals. It isn't working. I wonder what the third thing is. Why is this happening? I've never heard of anything like this. Even oh. for the Enchanted Forest. Is that a, a, a dragon? Ah! 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 I can't believe the slumber berries actually worked. I know, but I'm not sure they're going to work on that dragon for long. Oh, we've got to find Father and Alice quickly. Come on! <sighs> Father? Father! <gasps> Father! Ellie! Oh, oh, how I've missed you! Oh, Ellie! <gasps> Your Majesty! Are you okay? I'm fine. And who are you? Oh, I'm, um, Miles King, um, seller of houses. Long story, but Miles found the portal back to Christendale, and he's helped me search for you and Alice. Miles, it's a pleasure to meet you. There must be a way I can repay you for your help. <laughs> and Alice, how is she? She's not here? No, we were separated in the uprising. I hope you two had found each other. Oh, what has the evil queen done with her? I don't know, but we must do whatever we can to find her. Uh, Miles and I will go back to the castle and confront the evil queen about Alice's whereabouts. Uh, we will? I have some allies to the north. I'll see if they can help locate Alice. All right. Everything will be fine, Ellie. Wow, how is your dad's hair still perfect after all this time? Not the time, Miles. Let's go. <sighs> oh, Alonzo is useless. If I want things done right, I'll have to do them myself. That book will be mine. Whoa, Ellie, slow down. We have to hurry. I know, but if we keep up this pace, I'm going to pass out. We have to find Alice. Oh, I do hope she's all right. What was that? I'm not sure. <gasps> well, well, well. Princess Eleanor, we meet at last. What happened to Alice? Where is she? My, my, I expected a little more composure from someone of your royal status. Why are you doing this to my family? And the people of Christendale? And what have you done with my sister? Oh, Princess Eleanor, let's make a deal, shall we? You are not getting my book. If you ever want to see your sister again, you will give it to me along with that ring of yours. Oh, do it, Ellie. Do it, Eleanor. It's the only way to see your precious Alice ever again. No. It's the only way. But your dad. He'll understand if it gets Alice back. Wise choice, princess. And the ring. <laughs> now where's Alice? I'm right here. <laughs> Alice? It, it can't be. Is it really you? Ellie, is, is that? Silence your little minion. I don't understand. Oh. Why are you doing this? It's simple, really. I wanted the throne. But you were going to have it. Well, not soon enough. 
And I don't want to just rule Christendale. If it wasn't for Father tossing you his precious little book of portal maps, I'd be taking over the entire world by now. Aha! All this time, it was Alice. Ellie, quick! We have to stop her! She's going to take over the world! Oh, uh, you're right! Come on! <laughs> Now! <laughs> Whoa! Oh my! My ring! And your book! Thank you, Alonzo. So, where do you think she went? Where am I? wall. Let's memorize a verse that Jesus taught for all. Great blessings belong to those who know they are spiritually in need. God's kingdom belongs to them. Matthew 5, 3. Now see if you can remember the missing words. Shout them out before they appear again. Great blessings. Great blessings belong to those who to those who know they are spiritually in need. God's, God's kingdom belongs to them. Matthew, Matthew 5, 3. Great job. Everybody get on your feet. It's time to sing. Show your love I'm loved by you Purify my heart In all I do I will love my friends And my enemies You died for me Now I believe We're blessed and always will be Sons and daughters 
great singing. You can take a seat. Oh, I just know the news about Alice will be very hard for him to hear. Your Highness, a message from the King. Uh, thank you. Alonzo, does my father know ab about Alice? Yes. So you work for the king now? Oh, the king is a much better boss than the evil queen. Huh. What's going on? Uh, father wants to reward me with the crown. That's cool, a new crown. Oh, no, the crown. As in, he wants me to be the queen. Whoa, wait, wait. like queen of all of Christendale? What did he say why he wants you to take the throne? I'm very proud of how you've used the stories from the Book of Knowledge to shape your attitude and trust God. You've proven what I always knew to be true, that you are a strong leader who cares deeply for others. Wow, sweet compliments from the king. But I don't deserve this. If you are questioning whether you are deserving of this blessing. <laughs> it's like he read your mind. <laughs> he does that a lot. Read the final story in the Book of Knowledge. I know it will bring you great comfort. Mm. All right. In the Book of Matthew, Jesus teaches about God's kingdom and the great blessings that come when people have the right attitudes. Throughout the Bible, there are stories of kings, queens, and everyday people who had those attitudes and others who did not. The greatest king in all the land is Jesus, the King of Kings. But while Jesus lived on earth, not everyone believed he was a king. Many people said mean things about him, and Jesus warned his followers to expect times when others would say unkind things about them too, simply because they followed him. But Jesus also encouraged them to have joy when that happens because he sees all things and promises to return to earth and reward them. We can be sure this royal promise is true because of a book in the Bible called Revelation. In it, Jesus says, Listen, I am coming soon. I will bring rewards with me. I will repay everyone for what they have done. Right now, King Jesus is in heaven, seated on a throne next to God. No one knows when God will send him back to earth, but we can look forward to his triumphant return one day. When King Jesus arrives again, he won't bring rewards like first place ribbons or fancy trophies. Instead, he will give his people crowns, but not like the ones worn by kings and queens. These are special crowns, like the crown of life and the crown of rejoicing. Because after all, we will have the best life forever in heaven, free from pain, sadness, and tears. That is more valuable than the fanciest jeweled crown that any king or queen has ever had. And we will be even more excited about living with Jesus than getting rewards. In fact, the Bible says that the rewards King Jesus gives to us, we will want to give right back to him as a way to honor the King of Kings for all he's done for us. Knowing that having the right attitudes here on earth brings blessings and heavenly rewards is amazing. But the best news King Jesus delivered is that God's love is a free gift for all. That means there is nothing we can do to earn his love and that anyone who decides to follow Jesus can become a part of God's royal family. Jesus saves us from all the wrong things we do and puts desires in our hearts to live for God. When that happens, we can know that we are blessed and our reward is in heaven because we will get to live there forever with our King, Jesus. So, Father wants me to see that rewards on earth are great, but the greatest blessing of all is knowing that our true reward is in heaven. I think so. The best reward is getting to live forever with Jesus one day. Exactly. It helps me keep my rewards here on earth in perspective, even big ones like being crowned Queen of Christendale. So, are you ready to be queen? It's a big responsibility. But if Father wants to give me the crown, then accepting it is one way that I can honor him. And I know that I can rule the people well if I keep my attitude focused on what God wants. Okay. Well, I guess I should say, Your Majesty, oh, then. stop! That is definitely going to take some getting used to. Fine 
citizens, I declare thee Queen Eleanor of Christendom. The portal is lighting up right here in the Valley of Speaking Oaks. Do you think you can get there? I'm more familiar with this forest than I want to be. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're ready to get back to selling houses. I definitely am. But I've got to say, I might miss Christendale now that it's free from the evil queen. Well, you are welcome back anytime. Oh, now, before you go, your payment <gasps> for helping me as promised. Well, Ellie, I can't. Well, they're worth six million dollars in your land, I believe. Six million? Is that not a lot? Yes, that's all. Huh. Look, I don't need jewels. Why not? It's your reward for helping me. This was the plan. I've realized that the knowledge I've gained while I've been here is worth way more than money or jewels. Are you sure? I'm positive. Okay. Well, just so you know, Father insisted that you be named an honorary king. We wouldn't have it any other way. Wait, so now... I'm officially a king? Yes, you are officially Honorary King Miles of Christendale now. <gasps> How's my hair? It looks great. <laughs> and, oh, please take this. Just to remember your time here, I insist. I don't think I'll be forgetting this place or the Enchanted Forest anytime soon. <laughs> but thank you, Ellie. I know just the place for this. So long now. And thank you for everything, King Miles. Well, you're welcome, Queen Ellie. Good, another house sold. Officially, the king of sales at Royal Realty. I never thought I'd actually see this day in real life. Oh. <clears throat> Royal Realty, this is Miles. How may I help you? Oh, you're interested in a castle. That's actually my specialty these days. I'm blessed, and my reward is in heaven. Let's play Royal Reveal to remember all that God has taught us today. Try to guess the picture before the timer runs out. Round one, shout out your best guess. It's an apple. Here's your first question. In today's episode, what reward did Ellie receive? Becoming a knight or becoming the queen? Ellie became the new queen after freeing her father and saving the kingdom. It's time for round two. Shout it out. It's a well. It's time for your next question. Does the Bible tell us that we will want to keep our heavenly rewards or give them back to Jesus? We will want to give our rewards back to Jesus because we will be so thankful for what he's done for us. Round three, guess the last picture. It's a mushroom. Here's your last question. True or false, the greatest reward of all is getting to spend forever in heaven with Jesus. True, when we commit our lives to following Jesus, we'll experience the greatest reward of all one day, the gift of heaven. Everybody, bow your head and close your eyes. It's time to pray. Hey God, thank you for showing us that our attitudes on earth will lead to rewards in heaven. Help us to have attitudes that honor you. We love you, amen.